So after the really good response I got after the first eye mechanism video, I decided that I wanted to take it a step further and have two eyes controlled at the same time. So the first thing I wanted to do was experiment with how I could change the look of the eyes themselves, so still using the same 3D printed design. Uh, I tried to do some paint effects on the eyes, so I started by sanding them all down and then I painted them with a slightly off-white um, and I used a drill uh, to rotate the eye uh, so that I could draw a perfectly circular iris. Um, I was going for kind of like a blind eye effect, uh, which I think it looks quite cool but I might end up changing this in the future. I used cotton thread um, to make little veins in the eyes and cotton thread actually if you, if you strip it with uh, the back of a blade or something like that uh, just to get some little strands off and then you glue it to the eye itself with some epoxy uh, it gives a really realistic vein effect and I covered the whole thing in epoxy to give it a, a glossy appearance um, I was also hoping that it would give a sort of cornea effect um, you know like a, a clear dome over the iris but this didn't really work out how I thought it would so building on the original design uh, I added some more servos, so originally I had four servos and I ended up going up to seven. Ideally I wanted to keep the same number of servos because obviously both the eyes are doing the same thing. Um, and I think it would have been possible to do this but I thought it would actually be easier to just go with more servos um, just to make the mechanism simpler. So having said that, I did make the central uh, x-axis servo control both eyes at the same time. Um, I'm not sure if this was the best choice because it does overcomplicate it and there's a lot more ways in which it can fail now but for the time being it seems to work fine. So I was trying to control the servos uh, with an Arduino but power them separately um, using an external power supply and uh, I couldn't really figure out the electronics of how it would work, I'm, I'm not entirely sure but one way that I did find out how to do it is to buy a servo driver board. I've got like a Chinese imitation of uh, the Adafruit servo driver board and I also bought a, a power supply and I went with two amps. I think you can go as high as 10 amps because big servo motors are obviously going to draw a lot of current. Uh, I'm actually amazed with how well these servos work. I'd always thought they were kind of unreliable and weak uh, but it turns out that's just because I'd never thought to actually wire them in such a way that they were controlled with a servo board. Um, and I'd always just powered them through the Arduino itself, which, looking back on it, uh, was a bit silly. So it did mean that I had to completely rewrite the code too, because the driver board works quite a bit differently than uh, the standard servo library in Arduino. But in the end, I got it working not bad. There's definitely still a lot of things I need to do with the code to improve the sort of the smoothness of the motion, but now that I have much more power in the servos, the blinking looks much more realistic now, and it can look around quicker, but the only problem is uh, it can't move around smoothly. I think if I get a new joystick and fiddle around with the code a bit, I should be able to get it working really well. So I think there'll be another video coming soon when I figure out the fan details of this eye mechanism. So yeah, if you're into this kind of thing, subscribe to the channel um, and there'll be a new video coming soon. So thank you for watching.